everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel and welcome to today's video another primark haul i went into primark a few days ago i keep seeing loads of like new in primark reels and stuff on instagram and i just had to go myself to see what was new in so i went um and primark is primarking at the moment their autumn stuff is like coming in they've got so many nice like knitwear bits and pieces and just like really nice accessories and stuff as well um, so I got really excited and just kept filling my basket. Um, <laughs> I have done a couple of styling reels over on my Instagram. Uh, so if you don't already follow me on there, definitely do. And have a little look because hopefully by the time this is live, I'll have posted a styling reel or I'll have one coming up. Um, I've split it in two parts because I did get quite a bit of stuff. Um, they also have some really, really nice home bits and pieces in too. Again, they've got a lot of like autumn decor that's new in and it got me super excited like super super excited for autumn like I'm ready to I'm ready to pumpkin pick I'm ready to wear trench coats I'm ready for like a hot chocolate to pop Gilmore girls on I'm here for it I'm ready I don't want a surprise summer in or at the end of it I keep thinking we're in September we're not we're only in August it is meant to be summer isn't it never mind anyway I am here for it I'm ready for autumn I'm just prepped and ready to go now. Um, so yeah, I'll just show you what I picked up. So first up, I've got this really nice khaki cardigan. Um, it was £13 and I got it in a size small. It's actually really, really nice on. It fits really well. It's a nice, like it's not like too oversized, but it's a nice like comfy fit for me. Um, so this is what it looks like. It is very nice. I really like it. And it's got the turtle shell buttons down the side and i just thought it would be really nice like quite easy to just throw on like over a vest top and a pair of leggings or jeans um especially over like that transitional weather that we seem to be getting already um where it's not too cold to wear a coat but it's not warm enough to just wear a t-shirt which is where these kinds of cardigans come into play um so yeah i really like this one that i picked up i also got this half zip knitted jumper which was one of the pieces that I kept seeing on a lot of like reels on Instagram and I was on the hunt for it because a stripey like half zip up jumper is me to a T and the fact that it's a knitted jumper just makes it all the better. There's two like little pockets at the front as well. By the way, sorry if I sound really like nasally. I had a cold and then it's gone to my sinuses and it's it's not good i don't like it so i'm really sorry about that so yeah it has the two pockets at the front which i think is just a nice little add of detail and like i said it is it's got this really like large collar too and like i said it's got a zip at the front i got this in a medium i kind of wanted it to be a bit of a oversized fit and it was 17 pound and the fit of it is exactly what i wanted Um, i did want it to be quite oversized like quite comfy um and it actually is so i really like this one for me i wanted to kind of like just kind of style this i mean obviously you can wear it with jeans or leggings but i wanted to wear like a pair of like ribbed flared leggings with a pair of like converse that was my kind of take on this outfit and obviously when it does get a little bit colder to just pop like a trench over the top of it um but yeah this is another one of the jumpers that i picked up i got another jumper obviously um i really like this one now i have actually tried everything on here i yeah i tried this on it looks better on the hanger than it does on me personally i do really like it um so i styled it up just to get a better idea and i'm on the fence i'm 50 50 but this is the jumper anyway it's got really nice it's a it is quite a, like a chunky and uh, knitted jumper um i love like the color i love the detail of it all in general and it is really nice it's not itchy or anything like that which is kind of what i was afraid of but it's not and i've got it in a size small because i didn't want it to be too bulky um because some chunky jumpers if you, i get them too oversized i just i look way too boxy and it's it's not a good look for me <laughs> um so i got it in a small for that reason and it was 15 pound now i really don't know what to do i am on the fence i do really really like it and it does look quite nice styled but i just don't think it suits me personally but other than that i really do love i really do like the jumper and it's a shame that i don't feel like it suits me because i do love the color and it is very cozy um 
But yeah, this was the other jumper that I did pick up. Now, I went from jumpers to a dress. Don't ask me why. Um, but I really did like it when I saw it. It is such a nice dress. So it's just a nice long maxi dress. The neckline isn't too low. Obviously, it's got no sleeves. And it's really pretty. I really love like the material itself. And I just love like the detail on it. And the colour is really nice too. And I just thought it was yeah just really nice i really like the dress itself um i don't know if it was worth getting though that's the only thing because it's currently raining and that's all it seems to be doing and i don't have another holiday planned so i'm not too sure if we'll get to wear it that's the only thing i got it in a medium because i didn't want it to be too fitted and it's not it's perfect it's nice and breathable um and it was 14 pound um but I did think I could add a shirt, like I could pop my white shirt over the top of it and I could just wear it with a pair of Birkenstocks um, and it could, st or even a denim jacket and wear it with a pair of like uh, Doc Martin boots, like something like that. So I'm not just wearing it on its own um, because it's not the weather for it at the moment. But I am in the UK, so it may surprise us in the next week or so. It might end up being 30 degrees. You never know with UK weather. Um, so yeah, I'm happy I did pick it up and it looks loads better than what I thought on to what I thought it would have. Um, so I'm glad I got it. And like I said, I could easily layer it up um, if it's not the right weather for it to be on its own. Now, I picked up this really nice shirt. When it was on the hanger, I had like a vision and I didn't think it would be as nice as I thought it was going to be. So it's this kind of... It looks like a bit of a beige, but it's like a peachy beige, like a very light, I don't know whether it's just my eyes, but it, either way, it's like a beigey colour, pinstriped shirt. It is a really nice cotton material. I think it's cotton. Yeah, it's 50% cotton. It feels, like, expensive. It is so nice. The quality of the material is really top-notch, to be fair. I actually love it. It's got a little pocket here. And then just the little, obviously, the cuffs at the bottom of the shirt. I got this in the small because it did look like it was quite an oversized fit. Um, so I'm glad I did get it in the small. If I got it in the medium, it would have looked just way too big. And it was £14, which, like I said, for the quality of it and how it does feel, to be fair, isn't too bad. Um, but no, I absolutely love this. My idea was to style this with just a white shirt, a pair of, obviously, a pair of leggings, and then just a pair of like trainers either like a new balance white or nike air force all whites and i saw this unreal cream cap to go with it that was kind of my outtake on that um i saw the cap first and then i was kind of hunting down something to go with it and then this is when i came across this really nice shirt um so yeah i kind of styled it up with this the cap is insane i love like the brown embroidery on the front of it and it is adjustable at the back, so obviously you can adjust it. Um, the cap was £4, and I'm obsessed with it. How nice is that? I have, like, an obsession with caps. I have so many. Um, and I don't actually have one in cream. I don't think I do. I do have one in cream, actually. But it's, like, a different shade. So, technically, I don't have this cream. Um, but, yeah, I thought they would look really nice together. And to continue the cap phase i also got another one in this nice khaki color but it's like distressed as well like it's got a bit of a distressed material going on and it says colorado aspen on the front so i like the embroidery on that as well and i just i thought this was super cool i don't know what i'm going to style this with because i don't actually have anything in like this kind of green but this one was four pound as well and i really just couldn't leave it behind because i'm obsessed with it um, so yeah, I got two caps out of Primark and then I picked up this really nice tee, um, just like a little logo on the front. I think it says Harvard. Yeah, which I thought was super nice. Now, it is a little bit deceiving. I got this in an extra small because I thought it looked quite big, like quite oversized. I just picked up the medium, which is what I would usually get. And it looked very oversized. I'm all for an oversized top. But I am quite short, so when they are too long, it just looks like a dress. So the small didn't look much different, so I thought I'll get it in the extra small. Now it fits, it is, it's comfy, like it, it is slightly oversized still, but it's not the oversized I wanted. So I think I'd probably take it back and get it in the small to actually have like that oversized fit. Um, but this was £12 and i'm obsessed they had a few 
other bits, I think they had like a burgundy tracksuit. That was like the Harvard collection or design that they've got at the moment, which was really, really nice. And I was really close to buying it. So when I do go to exchange this, I mean, you never know what I might pick up. My take on style in this was just my signature kind of style, oversized tee, a pair of leggings, a pair of New Balance and a black trench. That was just kind of my go-to outfit when we kind of come into like the transitional weather. It never fails me. So that was my plan for this top. It is a little bit deceiving. It looks a lot bigger than what it actually is when it's on. Um, but anyway, I love this top and I just love this grey mal like colour. I really like it. Um, but yeah, I picked up that t-shirt and then I actually spotted this bag. It's a bit of fluff. On a random reel. And I'm really glad I did. It was £10 if I remember rightly. And how nice is this? It is so pretty. Like... Um, I absolutely love it. Oh, it does have, oh, you know, it's attached. And then it does have the other strap on the inside so you can have it so it is like a lot longer um, or you can just have it so it goes on the, the shoulder like this. But how nice is it? I love the pattern of it. And again, personally, I think it looks quite expensive, like something you would get from Zara um, for a fraction of the price. Um, so yeah, I picked up this. And another little accessory that I got was these shoes. Now, I've already tried these on in store. There was no fives. For me, these are the Gucci dupes. And obviously, they're a fraction of a fraction of the price. These were £14. Now, how nice are these? Like, they have a nice little kitten heel. And I just, I didn't think I would actually like them as much as I do. They did come in black with the same pattern. Um, but they also didn't have my size either. So I got these in a four. Now, I've tried them on and walked around in them a little bit at home. And they're comfy, but I could do with a five. Um, so I'm thinking about maybe taking them back to my local Primark and seeing if they do have a size five. But how nice are these? Like, I am obsessed with the pattern on them. And I really am thinking about getting them in the black too. But yeah, I am obsessed with these. And like I said, they were £14 for these. And... Yeah, I love them. And then I also picked up another cardigan. Now, I have tried this one on and it doesn't feel itchy or anything like that. But when I put it on, oh my God, I nearly jumped out of my skin. It is very itchy to the skin when you pop it on. It's a shame because I really, really do love it. I popped it on. I did style it up just to think... Can I, can I do it? Because it did look really, really nice. I'm not going to lie. It looked so nice on. I paired it with the new shoes and the bag and just a pair of black jeans. And it was like the perfect like date night dinner outfit. I got it in a medium and it was £11. And it like, it doesn't feel itchy one little bit. So I was just like, oh, this will be great. And it was very itchy. So I don't know what to do. I don't know whether to just pop a top on something underneath it and just try and ignore it or not because I really do like it. It is so nice. I'll try it on with the top underneath and see how it goes. And then lastly, I got this jumper. Now it's a little bit out of the ordinary for me. Um, it's not really something that I would usually pick up. So it's just a nice grey jumper with NYC on the front. My idea for this as an outfit was to put like a white shirt underneath it, layer it up with this on top and then just wear a pair of flared leggings and a pair of like Converse or something with it. And it looked really nice. Um, I'm sure I got it in a size medium just so I could kind of have like that extra give with me layering it up. And yeah, I got it in a medium and it was £13. But how nice is that? I am really obsessed like it's not like there's not too much of a logo but it's like it is quite nice like it's quite minimal um I really like it it's just quite a simple jumper to just throw on with like either a white top or a white shirt underneath it and just like layer it up yeah that was the last thing that I did pick up from Primark so yeah I had a nice little shopping trip in Primark there's so many nice stuff in there Honestly, if you are ready to go and start your autumn wardrobe, head to Primark. You will not be disappointed. Um, I certainly wasn't. I could have kept going. But anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. And of course, I hope you've enjoyed my little Primark haul and everything that I picked up. 
Um, but yeah, I'm going to go and I do hope to see you in my next video. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.